So I'm going to quickly show you some unwrapping techniques that I use. Um, it consists of flatten mapping using the pill tools and also selecting polygons via um, smoothing groups. So this mesh is already unwrapped, but I'm just going to showcase how certain where you should be putting your seams and where your different uh, UV islands should be. So you can see how like this whole bit that curves around is one whole island based off here. But if we come to something got like up, up on the top rail here, each super hard edge has a cut, a seam. And this is because for baking normal maps, if you don't, if you don't cut a seam here, uh, the projection will sort of like artifact here. It'll be like a black line that gets uh, baked in. If that was to be one island like this. So you basically should be putting seams on all the, the hard edges, so the sharp edges. And that's how you split up all your UV islands. Now the only exception is cylindrical shapes like this, the barrel here. Um, you have to cut it somewhere, so you just have to put a seam where it's not going to be very visible, so obviously under or behind things. So I'm going to show you a few techniques. Uh, I'm going to start from the fastest slash worst quality, and then I'm going to work my way up. The fastest technique you can do is just do a, a simple flattened map, basically using the default settings. All right, so after you've, uh, the flattened mapping is finished, it will cut everything that's uh, sharper than a 45 degree angle. So you can see how up here is all uh, being cut, which is, this is good. But when you get to places like here, you can see how these seams, uh, let me just uh, change the, you can see it better. You can see how this, we have these seams here and you can see on, over here on the UV editor, how the islands, it's all over the place. But we would want this all to be one piece. So that's the first technique. But adding on top of this technique is you can use a flattened map and then come over here and turn on select by planar angle and you can start selecting all these bits that are being all cut up. So you can select all this. And then over here we can come over, I think this bigger. We can just click this reset pill here. And that will basically like kind of reset its state. But because it's like a, basically this is like a cylindrical object now, so we have to cut it. So obviously the best place to cut it would be along here. So we can just go to edge selection and select these edges here. And then we can just click break here. Now, if we select this again and just click quick pill, we'll get this result. And then this has been pilled up. So now we don't have those random seams cutting across. And you can do that with all the plate, all the areas, like around here and obviously around here as well. you just like clean up, you basically just clean up what the flattened mapping uh, messed up. So another technique is selecting by polygroup. So if I just reset this, uh, the, the UVs here, I can actually come over here and there's a, if you have um, polygroup set up on your low poly, which you, you should at this stage, um, you can come here and there's a select by polygroup so I can go polygroup number one I'm going to click this and it's, it's selected all uh, the faces under uh, polygroup one so with all them selected I can come here and click reset pill now that I bring that over here and then I come select polygroup number two and select all two do the same thing And you just keep on going until you basically don't have any more UVs here. So what's good about this technique is that it splits up all the areas that have separate polygroups. Now, 
each polygroup should be a different uh, UV island to help with that normal map baking issue I mentioned earlier. So obviously each face here is a different polygroup. And you obviously don't want these to be the same polygroup, otherwise you get like smooth uh, lighting here and it just looks really, really bad. So this obviously does require cleanup again. So uh, I think I'm going to find this piece. Here it is here. So you can see this piece here again is, we have to come in here and add some uh, some seams and we can just reset pill, uh, no not reset pill, uh, quick pill. And we can see how we've got the same uh, result as last time using the yellow technique. So once you've cleaned up all your UV islands, let's say, um, it's time to pack it into the one by one here uh, you can do it manually, obviously trying to solve a puzzle. Uh, that can, depending on how complex your mesh is and how many UV islands you have, that can take ages, especially for a mesh like this, a gun, where you have lots of uh, like broken off pieces around here and it gets pretty complex. So uh, you can just use the packing tool, which is just uh, right here, you pack together. Now, like a lot of automated processes, it's not 100% clean or 100% optimized. So you can always uh, do some more manual work to clean up the, um, the islands to get even more resolution. Uh, so just scale this in. And an example of that would be these pieces here. You can select them all. I'll select some. And these are from the top rail up here. We can flatten, uh, straighten these uh, selection here, and we can then just relax them. You can see now how they're all cleanly like placed. But on top of that, we can also just pack together, and that will pack these really nicely in together. You can do that with lots of uh, the pieces. If you have lots of uh, similar UV islands, so I, I would do this with the whole top rail and the whole bottom rail, and that would pack really, really nicely, and you can just tuck that away somewhere. Similar techniques apply for all the different places on the on the mesh. So using the pack tools will sort of uh, unify the scale of every island. So, for example, you can see how the the scale is all the same, but say for this area down here, under here, you wouldn't want this to have this as much resolution as let's say up here. So we can scale this down. And also, I guess we could scale all of this down. And you do that across your whole model and basically optimize it even further. And then what you can do is select everything and we can untick this rescale option and just pack. Now that will cleanly pack it again and it will keep the scale of these uh, smaller bits, smaller res bits. And we can just up the scale a bit. And, and then you just manually clean up again, make sure no islands are off the grid. I use these techniques every time I unwrap anything, so I hope they helped and take care.